a great balance of old school Soulsborne music and new stuff, you know, a new style. Hey music friends, this is Davi Vasca, I'm a music composer for games and I'm very excited for Elden Ring and I've actually been avoiding, you know, trailers and gameplays and whatnot, but I'm very curious about the music and some of you guys have been asking me to take a look at it. So today we're going to listen to and talk about some tracks from Elden Ring. Let's go. This is the main theme. Wait. Okay, before we move on, what was that at the beginning here? This has to be intentional, right? This is the... I mean, it's not the exa exact same notes, but it's extremely similar to the Lord of Cinder theme from Dark Souls 1. The only difference is that uh, the Lord of Cinder theme is it's like this, it's three notes. Uh, but the way they do it here in Elden Ring, they just do this. So they skip one note, but still it's very similar and it's on the harp also, uh, which is very similar to the piano. So I guess this is a little bit of fan service here, a little nod to the fans, that's cool. But other than that, this is very surprising stuff, actually. This sounds so different from other Dark Souls, Soulsborne music. It sounds to me like they're going a bit more mainstream with the music this time, and I know some people think it's a dirty word, mainstream, but I, d I don't mean it in that way. This sounds very forward, you know, very powerful and confident and adventurous and positive. And uh, it sounds more like what you would expect a fantasy soundtrack to sound like. While in comparison, uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls were very depressing and had all these very complex emotions. It, it was very intimate. Uh, even the the chord progression here is, is very basic and again I, I don't mean basic in a, in a bad way it's very easy to understand there, there are no like surprising chords and and difficult to understand harmonies uh, some of the harmonies in Bloodborne specifically it was crazy stuff almost undecipherable things uh, in the harmony but this in comparison is very simple and very easy to understand check this out Okay, I'm getting major Hollywood vibes from this. Uh, you guys remember on a previous video, I don't remember which one it was, but basically in the world of orchestral music today, we have basically two styles. One is the Hollywood style and, and one is the classical style. D uh, Soulsborne music generally 
tended to lean more towards the classical style, especially uh, Bloodborne. But this is a is a big change uh, in that regard. This is very clearly more towards the Hollywood style, especially this part here. This violence. This is ostinato. This is called ostinato on the on the strings, and it's something that Hollywood loves to do. It's these repetitive rhythmic uh, figures that they do. Uh, it could could be any instrument, but they, they love to do it on strings, and it sounds very very Hollywood-like. This, to me, honestly, sounds like what a Dark Souls Hollywood movie would sound like. All right. So next up is the. Tree Sentinel theme. I don't know anything about this. I don't know who the Tree Sentinel is, but let's go. Oh, wow. So, so this is very different from the main theme. This is more like the Soulsborne music we're used to. Okay, so the rhythm here at the beginning is crazy. Sounds very disturbing, right? I've talked here in the channel about weird time signatures and how they, they throw you off and it's, it's kind of unpredictable. The cool thing is that they're not doing this here, but they're giving that kind of feeling here without doing weird time signatures. This is just a normal six beat meter here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 It's even kind of tricky to count the six beat measure here because of something that they're doing called syncopation and syncopation just means that they are accentuating a beat in the rhythm that is not the one you expect to be the strong one. Usually in any kind of rhythm we always expect the strong beat to be the first one. So in a six beat measure like this one it, it would be like this one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six so the one is, is strong you can feel it harder one two three four five six one and this creates a beat, you know, creates a, a consistent rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But listen to what happens when I accentuate beats that are not the one. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. I'm just accentuating random uh, beats here, but that's what they're doing here. It kind of throws you off and it, it becomes unpredictable. So they got a more steady rhythm now. The strings in this are so rhythmic. Oh, and listen to this. This is a classic. They love to do this. Not only Soulsborne games, but everyone loves to do this on boss themes. So, and, and I don't even know if this is a boss theme actually, but uh, they are resting on this chord here, the, the sad chord. And then they, just by sneaking this one little note here, it becomes a very, very scary and disturbing chord. Very cool. Next up is the Margit the Fell Omen boss fight theme. Let's go.
furious. Listen to this solo violin. Very emotional and there seems to be some kind of roughness to this track. And, and I mean, when I say roughness, I mean that the composer intentionally put, you know, a some kind of rough, primitive vibe to this. I don't know anything about the, the context of this, but this solo violin here, the way it's, it's played, it almost sounds like a fiddle, like, like a, a folk kind of violin. And some other uh, articulations that they're doing here on other instruments give me that folk kind of feeling and even the the pedal point you know what a pedal point is listen to this can you listen to a low pitch note like this it's it plays all the time it never stops it's all the time like this check this out it's all the time like this and the pedal point is a harmonic uh, tool that is very common in some folk kinds of music, especially Celtic uh, music. So definitely rough, primitive and folk vibes from this. Man, this is great. This feels like a great balance of old school souls born music. Such a satisfying resolution. This is amazing. I was gonna say that this is a great balance of old school souls born music and new stuff, you know, a new style. I'm super excited for Elden Ring, I know you are too, so while we wait for the game to come out, why not watch another video like this one, I have a bunch of them about Soulsborne music, I'm gonna put them over here, and I'm gonna put here uh, my videos about Monster Hunter music as well, if you're into that. And remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.